Hey guys, today we're going to take this 80s baby and give her a trendy transformation. I've got my eye on some big profits for this one, so let me show you how to buy something for a dime and make it divine. Welcome in to Lemons to Lemonade Furniture. My name is Kara and flipping furniture out of our garage in Dallas, Texas has allowed our family to reach financial freedom. Come along with us and I'll show you how it's done. My starting point is this 1980s Thomasville dresser. It has great bones. It's in really great shape. There's really not a whole lot I need to fix on this. What originally attracted me to this dresser were the poles. These are really funky, fun poles that you just don't see anymore. A mix of brass and wood handles. And it is missing one on this side, but when I bought the dresser, it came with two nightstands. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the poles off of the nightstand, and then when I flip the nightstands, I'll have to figure out something else, but at least I'm gonna have a full set of poles for the dresser. After going on and on over these poles, you know that I'm going to be reusing these again. So we'll go ahead and take those off so that I can give them a nice scrub before they go back on the dresser later on. And I do need to get the dresser nice and clean and ready for paint. Anytime you're flipping furniture, you'll want to use a good degreaser or TSP type cleanser. I really like to use Simple Green. It is cost effective. It works really well. I pick all of my products up at my local Sherwin-Williams and they carry this there, which is nice. Very much one-stop shop, which I'm all about that as a busy mom. So I like to use Simple Green. That's what I'm using here. I mix it up to the package directions into my bucket of hot water. And then once this is done and I've gone over everything, I will go over it with just some regular warm water to get the Simple Green off and make sure the dressers has a nice thorough clean. You can see as I'm cleaning that this dresser is in really great shape. There's nothing that I need to go back and fill with wood fill. There's nothing that needs to be done that's extra to this. All I need to do is give it a really good clean and then uh, do some other just easy, easy prep work to it and it's going to be ready for that boho finish. You never know what goodies you're gonna find when you start cleaning out dressers. And this dresser was no exception. It had quite a few things left behind. Some of my most favorite things that I've found in dressers, uh, I have never found money before. I know some of you that I've seen on YouTube have found money. I haven't found money. We did find three big silver platters. So I guess that was a really good score. That was from an estate sale a long time ago. Um, I found sweet love letters. I've seen cute family portraits and if I did get this from a family I will usually email them or get in touch with them the way that I found the piece of furniture and let them know that I found it sometimes they want it back sometimes they told me to throw it in the trash but um, you'd never know what you're going to find have any of you found anything special in dressers before let me know in the comments section below I've decided to modify the base on this a little bit just to bring it up to speed and get rid of that 1980s feel that it has. We're going to flip it on its back and take a little bit of the lip of this base off. Removing the part of the base like this is really easy peasy. It took us maybe five minutes at the most. It really just helps bring the dresser up to speed a little bit more. 
and it, you're not messing with the structural part of it. It doesn't need anything extra to stand back up. It's just a little decorative trim that has been added on there. But just by removing that trim, which you'll see in a little bit, and definitely at the end of the video after we've painted it, helps bring this dresser really up to speed and more on trend. Removing parts of the base, if you have a dresser or a piece of furniture that is a little outdated, is a very quick way for you to update your own furniture without reinvesting in new pieces. I'm using a 220 grit sanding pad on my Makita Orbital Sander. It's always a good idea to rough up your furniture before you use chalk paint on it to make sure that your paint will adhere nicely. I've made a huge mess with all that sanding dust. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all that back, and then once it's dry, we'll be ready to paint. I'm using the color Reddened Earth from Sherwin-Williams Chalk Paint Line on this dresser. I know my can says terracotta, but that's what color it is. It's terracotta, but the name of it is Reddened Earth. So if you just love the color of this project, that is what it is. I've used this product before, or I should say this color, on another dresser flip that we did and we turned it into a media cabinet. And that one also sold really quickly and also had a ton of views on Facebook Marketplace. So that color is really hot right now. Everybody's into these warm earth tones. They usually will end up being the focal point in someone's room or house. And it blends in nicely with some of these other neutral tones that we currently have our walls painted. So even though the color is a little out of the box and out of the ordinary, it tends to be where the trend is going these days. In the Dallas area where we live, we're seeing a big mix of MCM and boho type furniture tents taking the main stage. Farmhouse furniture is making its way out to make room for these latest styles. I know, I know it's a controversial topic, but I think farmhouse has had its moment. We flip lots of boho furniture in our garage and I get asked all the time, what does boho style mean? Boho style is a mix of neutral and warm shades. They have a 70s type vibe to them. There's something in them that makes a statement in its own very unique way. That can be the color, the shape, or the hardware on the item. What's trending in your neck of the woods right now? Are you seeing farmhouse make its way out or is it still holding on strong? Our dresser has had two coats of red and earth chalk paint applied and it's dried overnight. Now it's time for the top coat. My absolute favorite go-to is Minwax Helmsman Spar Urethane in a clear satin finish. 
It's a water-based product and it runs perfectly through my gravity-fed HVLP sprayer. It dries quickly within 30 minutes and it's ready for the next coat. I'll apply two coats total to my dresser of the Spar Urethane. Once it's dried overnight, it'll be ready for pickup or delivery the next day, but it's always best to let it cure for 30 days for that diamond tough finish. As I apply my top coat with my gravity fed HVLP spray gun, you'll notice that I overlap my last line or area that I sprayed just by a little bit. This ensures that I'm getting really good coverage and I don't have to worry about any open spaces or visible lines that I've missed with my polyurethane once this dries. Now it's time for my favorite handles to have their moment. I'm going to get them wet a little bit and use a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend to help polish up this brass. Normally, I would like to put these into a vinegar bath, but because the portion of the handle that's wood, I can't put that in there, and that portion doesn't come off. So I need to just go ahead and scrub around really well with my Barkeeper's Friend, and it'll remove any of the dirt or debris that is making these a little dull. I have two little drawers that go on the inside of the dresser. I kept these neutral or the same color as the handles or the poles so that they sort of have their own little moment when you open those two little cabinet doors and it just helps the poles that kept the wood flow a little better on the dresser in my opinion. I'm using some Big Mama's Butter to help freshen up these drawers. I'll apply it with my wax brush, let it soak in for about 30 seconds and then wipe it back. I like to use the Big Mama's Butter also on the drawer slides. When the drawers are a little bit older, if you use some nice furniture wax on them, it'll help you push them in and they'll glide much easier. As a reminder, here's our 1980s Thomasville dresser before and here it is after. I just love how this dresser turned out. Funky boho vibes all around with this beautiful terracotta color and preserving those wood brass handles was just the right touch. had over 2,000 views on Facebook Marketplace in the first day that it was listed. It also sold the first day that it was listed. Boho flips are really piquing people's interest these days. Click this video here for more boho inspired pieces and watch us turn this basic cabinet into a fan favorite that was on Instagram. 
Be sure to join us next week for an anthropology-inspired dupe flip, high-end and luxurious. See you next time on Lemons to Lemonade Furniture.